Good day everyone. I'm making this video to show you how to schedule workflow in Power Automate Desktop. If you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button to support me to make more videos to help other people just like you. If this video has helped you, any donations to support this channel are welcome by using the PayPal link in the description below. So I have created a um, scheduler in uh, Power Automate. Um, I will do a test run to show you uh, how it works. So when I click run, it will prompt me um, to key in the time and date to run the workflow. So it's 9.47 uh, p.m. now. So I will just put 21.48 to make it run in the next minute. So the waiting time is 17 seconds because it's still 9.47. So you can see the bottom left here. We need to wait um, a few more seconds. Oh, so it's, it's, it's running now because it, it has reached uh, 948 already. And then it will run the workflow. All right, this is my sample workflow. Then it will run again in the next 24 hours. You can see the value wait time is uh, 86,385 seconds 86,400 seconds is 24 hours so this will run uh, tomorrow again um, I will just click stop here um, and then I'll guide you how to do this first of all you need to um, put a display input dialog Right. Input dialog title, future start date time. Input dialog message, please key in the future start date time. Default value, right? Just remember the format must be uh, month, 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 date, time, uh, hours, minutes, and the year. Right? Single line, Var variables produced is user input. Um, then you click a display message to uh, show the user uh, what time it will start running just to just for the user to double confirm right. uh, message box icon is information message box button is okay default button is first button Right. Okay. Next, you run the JavaScript. Right. Double click on this. This is the scripting that I have um, created. So I will copy this script to the link um, to the description below. So basically, it 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 um. It takes the value that the user key in just now, the date, minus the current date time. Um, and then uh, it will use that wait time before it runs the workflow. Then you convert text to number. You convert the wait time to a number. And then the wait time would be the value underscore wait time. Um, let me go back to run JavaScript. The reason I divide by 1000 is because um, when I do a get get time, it's a, it's a milliseconds from 1st January 1970. So I put a future date, right? minus the current date time 
this is all in millis <coughs> this is all in milliseconds divided by 1000 so you wait right you will ask it to wait and then you create a loop right the beginning of the loop okay start from 1 and end 1000 so you can do this for a thousand days or if you want to just do it for like a few days just key in the number of days here and end to the number of days increment by one then you run your desktop flow right over here right you can choose the workflow that you want to run right then um the workflow that you have already actually created right like for example here so you can pick any workflow to run um then um if you if you need to run multiple workflows you can um Simply go to wait time, right? Maybe you put it under here, right? Wait for like maybe uh, 10 seconds, right? Then you run the next workflow, right? You can select from here. You can select your workflow. Oh, there's no need to wait. You can just you can just um just drag the run desktop workflow so that uh, it will run the next workflow. So it's uh, it's quite flexible. The next next you want to run the JavaScript again. Right. Um, over here. So the value start date time plus twenty four hours times sixty minutes times sixty seconds times one thousand milliseconds. So you get uh, a um, you get twenty four hours. Right minus the current date time. Right, and then you get um. You get less than 24 hours because uh, you have used up some time to run the process just now right so um this will run 24 hours plus the start date time that you have inputted uh, when you start this workflow then over here over text number right and then uh, you wait again all right so this will wait for around 24 hours then it will loop back to here right so it will continue to loop a, a thousand days if you want to reduce the days just put three uh put the put the put three, you want to run three days you just put three here um yeah I hope this helps. Um, this, this, this is actually a hack because Microsoft Power Automate Desktop doesn't have a scheduler. So I hope this uh, video has helped you. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, and feel free to donate. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.